Could there be another mode of prayer? A mode of prayer that allows us to be part of the solution. This is a story, it's a true story that happened to me. One of the worst droughts in recorded history, the 1990s in the high desert of northern New Mexico. Cattle were dying, crops were dying. And it was during this time that a native friend of mine called me one morning. Well, he said, would you like to join me to offer a prayer of rain? And I didn't have to think twice. I said, you bet. And then he closed his eyes with his hands in a prayer mudra over his heart just for a few seconds. He opened his eyes and he said, um, I'm hungry, you want to get a bite to eat? And I said, well, yes. I said, but I thought you were going to pray for rain. He looked at me and said, no. He said, if I prayed for rain, rain could never happen. The moment I pray for it to happen, I'm acknowledging that it's not here now. When I closed my eyes, I felt the feeling when it rains in my Pueblo village what it feels like to stand with my naked feet in the mud, and the mud is there because there's been so much rain. I smell the smells of what the rain smells like, and then I give thanks of gratitude and appreciation for the rain that has already happened. The key, feeling as if the prayer is already answered. By the time I got back onto my land, something began to happen that we hadn't seen in a long time. Big black clouds came in over the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. It started to rain. 